I'm Jim Dietz, Jolly Roger Games, president and janitor. Board games and card games, primarily. Um, we have a role-playing game, uh, Swashbuckler, that's being reprinted and will be out at the end of the summer. Um, started it back in 97, I, I had a game and uh, took it to a couple companies and they said that uh, you don't have any experience, therefore uh, we can't publish it because you've never done anything before. It's a great game, but we don't publish unpublished people. So I took it and published it myself and then went to distributors and started Jolly Roger Games and from there started making board games and card games and after doing the board games and card games here in America moved production overseas to improve the quality of the components and now focus primarily on board games and card games. Yeah, but now anymore after, after the first couple I, I, I don't design anymore. I do development and do the publication. Uh, the design has been by a variety of people, whether it's um, Alan Moon or uh, Dan Bodden, Frank Branham, um, Alan Newman, Bruno Fiduti, a lot of other people that have done the games rather than me. It's always better with game companies if you send the letter first or the email asking, are you accepting at the moment? Um, the other thing I'd say is spell correctly. Um, I get a lot of stuff like, and it's like, wow, how can I expect this to be good if you can't get more than one sentence without three or four spelling errors? Um, and just, just one of those pet peeves. Yeah, and spell my name correctly. It's J-I-M. Um, when, you, when, you, when you're missing on the J-I-M part, that, that's a sure sign that the answer is no. We do look at outside designs, and one of the things I've been proud of is on a lot of these games, they've been the first designs to people, actually, where if you're established or not, Southeast I'll wind Island. up uh, South making South sure South to, South to take a look at it. A lot of the times when game companies aren't successful, they get one product and they think this is you know the next great thing, and they get told, okay, you need a booth at trade shows, you need a booth at, at Origins with that one product, and there's so many companies out there competing and you've got one product, and if, if they don't sell a ton, it winds up causing um, problems because you've got you only have the one product, and I learned that the first one when I did it, I, I made a lot of business mistakes um, producing stuff in the U.S. rather than overseas, and it, it took a while to get past that point and get the experience. Um, so the really I think the big mistake people who design or publish games for themselves make is that they jump into it and don't. They don't pay attention to the business end of things. They think it's cool, they think it's great, but in the end, it's the, uh, Rick, Rick Loomis at Flying Buffalo says the easiest way to make uh, $100,000 as a game company is to start with a million. Um, meaning that the more money you throw in, a lot of the times, you're just gonna, you're gonna lose the money. You want a serious comment? 